we got the doctor in the house. Come on. What's up, Dave? What's up? What's up, man? I had to put doctor because Rob always calls it Dr. David. So I put it in there. <laughs> well, it's been a minute since I've... How you been? How you, how you're killing it from everything I can tell. I uh, appreciate it, man. I've been well, you know, just one day at a time trying to grow the PT business, try to, you know, change change healthcare a little bit uh, one day at a time. Hey, Rob, you should put yourself in here because you know Dave. And uh, Peter needs a break anyway. His <laughs> voice is killing him. But David Bruton is, oh, my God. Talk about the man. David Bruton, are you kidding me? So good to see David. But, but Rob, you know uh, Dave, too. What, what's your relationship with David? Uh, my sister-in-law actually helps watch his dog from time to time, and that's how we got connected. So we're, we we're, we have a deep, deep relationship from long yeah. term. Yep. So, but uh, David, you were telling a story. You came to our, you did an injury prevention clinic at our school a, a week ago, and how Peyton Manning helped you improve your defense when you're on the field. Could you share that story again? Oh yeah, uh, I just remember. You know, one time in practice, it's just showing how cerebral pain was. Um, he could always tell when I was rotating down. Didn't matter what side of the ball I was on, right or left. He's like, Brute, your left foot, uh, your left foot's always back when you're coming down. And I'm like, how the heck do you know what I'm about to do? And it's my body. I don't even know these tendencies. But it, it just goes to show, like, how cerebral he was and how – how in tune with the game that he was that he would try to pick up little things about any anybody just to help help his game and help his uh performance how close you follow in the nfl these days um i mean i know you're busy with a million things but how, how close you following it <laughs> um actually i've been a little more in tune to it this year than i have in, since i've played okay um, i've been the more broncos games this year than i have the last seven so <laughs> Uh, so definitely been a little more active, a little more in tune with what's going on around the league. All right, what do you think then? Give us, uh, you know, Broncos. What do you think? Where, where's your head at with them? Woo! Yeah, do you go, so we're going to go there. <laughs> well, I don't uh, know. I mean, no. Hey, 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 brother! You don't have to be. You don't have to be mean about it. You can <laughs> no, be you no, 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 be mean. I, I think it's. I think no matter how you slice it, they're going to be in financial purgatory. Uh, I think there's mm. they're just they're on the hook no matter how. Russell's contract, how his playing time, however it plays out. Um, now, does that mean they start moving players, cutting players, trading players to try to create space, cap space? I, I'd hate to see. Probably. I'd hate to see that, but more than likely, that's what it's going to have to be, right? Um, one thing yeah. that I, I said, there's been a great improvement with Russell this year, like as far as like his form of play, his pr productivity, Confidence in itself um, definitely was a lot, a lot more apparent that he could play the position and play it at the high level that we wanted him to do last year. Um, so I, I think we see a see a different side of the coin or uh, another chapter in his book as far as the type of player that he is. Now, with that what, 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 that what team do you what team do you you don't think he's coming back to the Broncos though, right? Or do you? I, I mean, what? what what do you do? Do we have a first round pick? Uh, do you have? Yeah, a second? they're twelve. They're twelve. I mean, they're twelve. Okay. Okay. I mean, so, I mean, there, there's a chance. There's a chance, but again, like I said, are they willing to bite that financial bullet? Right. That's. Or do you give him another year and see if he can build on it? Well, I think the problem though is Sean Payne just doesn't. That relationship right there. I was just about, about to get on that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my thing is, how can you, as and I loved what Ryan Clark had said, right? Like, you lucky you got the right one and not the wrong one. Like, mm -hmm. from day one, you're charging at your your franchise guy, right? Your the head of the head of the team, the leader of the team. Yeah. Since day one, he's got you in his ear. Don't forget, he's had the fans in his ear all last year and still into this year, right? Like, he's getting it from in house and out of house as far as like, oh, Russell sucks. He sucks. Oh, you can't do this. Do better. Yada yada yada. And I think he's shown that he's able to play. And a lot of those games this year, a few of those games this year wasn't solely on him. Like, no, 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 no. Uh, definitely not. The Jets game, like at halftime, you, you give him a long run right off the gate with defense. Um, you know, obviously Miami debacle. Um, think about the Washington yeah. game where they yeah. rounded off 23 points or something like that in the second half. Like that's, right. 
I mean, Russell could only do so much in certain instances. Do I think he had bad games? Yes. Every quarterback's had a bad game. But I think he's still getting scrutiny from last year's performance. Hey, uh, do you have a relationship with Kareem at all, Kareem Jackson? No, I don't. I, the only time I, I was, interacted with him was when we played the Texans. Yeah, because, um, <laughs> dude, how do you play safety anymore, Dave? Like, what do you do? How do you do it? You you don't. You don't like. Um, like guys say it's a dirty hit when you hit them in the ribs or down low and hurt their knee. You know you're trying to aim at their chest. They double catch it. Now they're low and you're still getting fined and penalized. Um, though I think you, uh, you all with Marvin were talking about it earlier. It's like it's just a different era. Like if he was. Playing back then, I've seen some of the comments. If he was playing back then in that era where they didn't give two dams about player safety, they right. <laughs> like he would thrive, right? David, um, man, you would be losing money left and right, brother. You would be. <laughs> I mean, but that's how you. No, nah, nah, I would start aiming low. I start aiming low. I, nah. Well, we had, hey man, we had, we had, uh, we had, we had, we had Chris Harris on our radio show, and I'm on with uh, Tyler Plumbus and, and Scott Hastings now, and uh, we, so we have Chris on, and we go, well, you know. What do you think about Kareem? And Chris goes, does he like money? That's right. That's right. I, you, you would change it. You would change it 110%. And that's what he said, too. It's like Chris did, you know, he wasn't trying to rip on him or anything. It's just like, hey, man, you got to, do you like money? I mean, yeah. change it. Yeah. I mean, but so. it, and even then, like, if it's not about, the, if you don't care about money, you made, say you made Peyton Manning money or whatever. Yeah. What about the thing you're doing with the team? Like every time you do it, it's 15 yards and a first down. Right. 15 yards and a first down. Right. And, you know, like you're just extending, extending the play. So at the end of the day, does it become more so selfish? Interesting. And do you, do, do you think? It, I mean, not to pick on Kareem, but if that's happening, is is the rest of the defense looking at you like, come on, man, you got to get it together here, right? Like I, we, I all think, get, we all got, we all got to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think so. I think. Like it comes to a point in time, it's like, man, this is just it's becoming a lot. Like, yeah, it's cool. You did it. Now, everybody knows you're going to try to head hunt. Everybody knows. All right, can we chest hunt? Can we stomach hunt? Like, can yeah. we hunt? Like, can we can we hunt another way um, and still be, be an enforcer? You know what's funny? I've talked to quite a few receivers, and they have said, and they've told me, if somebody's going to come at me, I'd rather have them come at the upper rather than the lower. Because when you come at the lower and you come at their knees, I mean, it's a weird thing to say because concussion to me is a way more serious thing to deal with for your entire life sure. than like an ACL. But, sure. but you know, dude, come on now. With the NFL concussions, these guys come back in three weeks or three weeks. What am I talking about? Yeah, All week. Ten, you know, it's ridiculous. Yeah, ten days sometimes, yeah, even sooner than that. Yeah, I think it's – I think the time missed initially is the immediate – impact is is greater with an acl versus a concussion right like you're missing yeah, right two weeks maybe three with a concussion um with the acl obviously you're missing nine ten months yeah but months. you know hey and you know better than anybody life is long right and yeah. i i get it you're out nine months ten months but acls heal dave they heal yeah. they heal great i've had a acl and meniscus and wouldn't even know. And, you know, yeah. and I'm an old fart. And, uh, <laughs> but, but those concussion stuff, man, that, that shit scares the hell out of me, man. How, 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 how are you doing with everything these days? How's your head? How are you feeling about stuff? Um, there's been, there's been time, you know, I still get headaches, you know, every week, once a week, every yeah. other week, something like that. Um, I've had a few, few days where I've had to, um, cancel patients because my headaches have gotten so bad, um, throughout the clinic when I'm working at the clinic. So um, I've been doing some things as far as like neurofeedback lately. I've been reading and doing research on creatine and okay. um, looking at the whole uh, uh, mushrooms, not the psychedelic ones, but the, you know, the Umbo brands and mm -hmm. see how, you know, that can help with, you know, sleep management, anxiety, all the different things that come along with having a history of, of those concussions. You talking concussion? I'm sorry. I was just going to say, are you talking to plumber at all? Cause he's the, uh, the world yep. expert on that. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. I've been yeah. talking to him uh, quite a bit. I've been having a sample and, you know, I've definitely felt a little more energetic taking some of, uh, some of the concoctions, mixtures of different 
types of mushrooms and, and these droplets. So I've definitely seen a positive effect in that regard. Um, and then the intensity of the headaches have definitely decreased. Now, good, how much is that good. due to, I think it's a combination of the multiple things that I'm doing, but I'm definitely trying to do a little bit more research, you know, because I got kids and I want to be able to play with them and function with them as they get older. Well, so, I've, I've talked to NFL guys, Dave, and they're convinced because they smoked marijuana while they were playing, that they aren't suffering the same post-career as guys who are on, like, pills. They're convinced mm-hmm. about it. Um, and I don't know if you got an opinion about that one way or the other, but, um, hey, man, I think when it comes to this stuff, you, you should keep an open mind to everything, right? I mean, you never know. Hey, 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 Doc, this, wait, hold on. This is Peter. What do you got for laryngitis? <laughs> man, I am not that type of doctor. I think you need – uh, refer out. Oh, what about some out. mushrooms? And, I'll try anything. Mushrooms, <laughs> edibles. A, what do we some got? Some reishi, some cordyceps, all that. Lion's mane. Try it all. Try it all. Put it all in a blender and let's go. I'm going chicken soup right now. Are right, you feeling better, Peter? You, you getting back into this conversation? You said this. Hey, Dave, let me tell you something funny. So this is the second week in a row where Peter set all the shit up. And, like, he can't even be part of it. Or he's barely part of it. So, heard, you know, I Peter, you get a couple questions out there. <laughs> you can't, you can't talk. He's, chicken, chicken he's, soup, said, baby. he's sending me text messages, DMAC, you got to save me here. And I'm like, it's your guys, Peter. Ah, I, I take a uh, soup, uh, soup, chicken soup. I'm good. All right. Well, we're, we're at halftime and the Niners are up seven to six on the Packers. I think that's a win day for the Packers. Because what were they, 10-point dogs in this one? Something they like are. that? So like I, think, that, yeah. I think if the Packers just kind of can keep things close and then they, um, you know, I think that's a win for them. Um, I think I think they were the hottest team going to the playoffs. So I think they were, um, they were definitely a team that, that had all the No, we're losing Dave a little bit. Oh. Yeah, yeah complain about us. me. Complain about me. <laughs> he's, the guy the, he's the guy with the doctorate, okay? Uh, Dave, no, Dave, I don't know if you can hear us, but you're you're the wrong <laughs> – something happened. What happened there, Rob? He turned his uh, camera the wrong I'll, way. I'll, I'll take him off screen. Oh, he just got disconnected, but – All right. He was what's really cool with – his clinic is he's got a concussion treatment room for uh, athletes. So when he's talking about, you know, doing all the research he does for concussions, he's got a dark room. It's like a virtual headset to help retrain your brain with like tracking with your eyes and stuff like that. It's pretty impressive. There's zero doubt. And I, you know, like guys who play, I'm fine to interview them and sort of whatever. I don't become friends with them, Peter, until after they're done. Not really. I feel more comfortable like like that. But I become friends with a lot of these guys after they're done playing. A lot. And it's so similar, Peter. And I'm sure you've got a lot of clients that are like this too. Everybody's just concerned about, like, how you at? You know, where are you, where's your head at? How you feeling? What's going on? Um, and I don't know if you can talk at length about it, but your obligation as an agent, I'm sure doesn't stop when, when you guys stop playing. And I, I wonder how big of a concern of all their concerns that is with your, with your current clients. We always worry about that and it doesn't stop. Yeah. You know, ALS is the big issue. You know, you never want one of your players to get ALS and it, it's just scary. That and laryngitis. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I asked. I asked you a very complicated question there. So we'll we'll, we'll keep it we'll keep it lighter. Um, the second half is about to is getting going here. It looks like Debo Samuel is out. Yes, so, so, Brood, how does that impact things here for the Niners? You think with Samuel just like you got one of your key guys just gone? Oh, did we lose Dave? I think I think his iPad's uh, glitching out. This kid is probably playing too many games on it. Right. Yeah, that I, must be it. <laughs> that was a good question, though. Yeah, Look at Debo, good. man. Oh man, that's uh, that's Rocky. Peter, who else is coming up though? I know. I mean, not that I, I'm trying to rush off Dave. I love Dave. We got Albert Breer. Whenever David's done, okay. The, the insider from Sports Illustrated. Oh my God! Really? <laughs> wow. Well, does yeah. he still have a job today? Or uh... well, what time is it? Right. Dude, that was sad seeing Sports Illustrated go away. That sucked. What was better than Friday afternoon racing home to beat your brothers so you could be the first one to read it? 
Who was going to well, be on the cover? I I devoured it. It was my Bible. It was it was where I grew a love for not only sports but sports writers and you know behind the scenes stuff and. Um, I got to know a few of those writers. Um, <laughs> I had a feud with Michael Silver, but we buried that. We're good. Uh, Austin Murphy, I was oh, pretty yeah. friendly with. I got to be friendly with Rick Riley, you know, stuff like that. Who didn't have a feud with Silver? But I've, Silver. Never, I've never had a feud with Albert Breer. 